Hey, what's going on dudes everybody? It's David here. We are back with another video. Now, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a Falcons jersey. So you already know this is going to be a Falcons video. The Falcons are going to sign Dante Fowler Jr. The former number one, well, well no, first round draft pick, not number one. First round draft pick, top 10 draft pick, will be signing for the Falcons. Now, as you guys know, Dante Fowler got drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. They traded him. When they traded him, I was like, why are you going to trade a guy? Yeah, I remember um, in the preseason he got hurt and he wasn't able to play. I think he didn't, he didn't play the whole season, his whole rookie season. But he's been pretty decent ever since he's been at the Rams. He hasn't really been like a star player. But he, he kind of wasn't really the leader on that defense. He was just kind of a piece in this addition. And he's going to be basically the same thing when it comes to the Falcons. But I'm very excited for this because as you guys know, I'm a Falcons fan. But what you guys don't know, I'm a Florida Gators fan too. So this is absolutely amazing. This is the first Gators player on the Falcons team right now, as I think. And I, this is the first, all right, I, let me fix that statement. This is the first good Gators player on this Falcons team in a while. I'm really excited for this because we need an outside linebacker who had experience, who had experience. Devondre Campbell, I really thought we were going to re-sign Devondre Campbell. But that is no longer a thing. Devondre Campbell, see you later. De Dante Fowler Jr. What? Dante Fowler Jr. is what? Almost the same age as Devo Devondre Campbell. And I would honestly say Dante Fowler Jr. is a better outside linebacker than, um, than Devondre Campbell. So when it comes to this news that the Falcons are going to be signing Deontay Fowler Jr., I am really happy for this because what I've been praying for is that we get an outside linebacker. Yeah, we got a four. I've heard. Well, well, the comments in the previous Falcons video told me we got a former number uh, first round draft pick in Hayden Hurst, um, one of the Ravens' backup tight ends. What is there left for us to do in the draft? Running back, and I would probably say cornerback. I think that's really it, and a defensive lineman, a defensive end. Running back, cornerback, the defensive defensive end, and then sure up that offensive line, and the Falcons are going to be very, very good. So Tom Brady, now that you're in our division, now that we got Dante Fowler Jr., now that we got a decent tight end, we're going to sure up, up that offensive line in the draft and hopefully some, something in the free agency because there will be more Falcons news coming, and I will definitely report about that. There's going to be more free agency, free agency signed by the Falcons. I did not even know the Falcons would have the money to do this, but I guess in cutting Devontae Freeman and cutting Desmond Trufant gave us enough money, and sorry, sorry to all those players, but see ya. Devontae, uh, uh, Desmond Trufant, see ya. We have gotten a very good player, in my opinion. He's going to be a very, very perfect fit for the Falcons, and I, and I can't wait to see him in a Falcons uniform. A former Gator player is going to be a Falcon. I am very, very excited to see that this happening. I love Matt Ryan. I love Julio Jones. I like Calvin Ridley. I like um, Grady Jarrett. I like Tab McKinley. I like a lot of Falcons players. But now nah, this may be my number one favorite. I may have to get a Dante Fowler Jr. Falcon jersey because I'm a Gator. And yeah, I, I love the Gators. And Dante Fowler Jr. is one of the best Gators players in the, in the last, uh, last 10 years. So... Now that he's signed for the Falcons, it's going to be a very, very good thing. Now, what does this mean for the Falcons after this? Um, not really, because I think they have Oku. I can't pronounce his name. I already know they have other offensive outside linebacker. Not sure if they're, going to, if they're going to keep Devondre Campbell, but they actually do keep Devondre Campbell. That's pretty good because then they have two experienced outside linebackers, and then the middle linebacker will be Deion Jones, who's really, really good linebacker. So when it comes to the linebacker position, we're basically all shirt up. Cornerback is on cornerback on the defensive side cornerback and a defensive end is all we have left to fix And then all we have to do is just strip the offensive line get what a few good guards And then a running back in the second round with with our second round pick and then the Falcons are going to be good And possibly get a backup quarterback, but we're not going to talk about that situation But in terms of this news Dante Fowler jr. Signing for the Falcons a former first round pick well, top 10 first round pick. It's not even for the Falcons. I've heard rumors that we were going to get him. I didn't believe him after I heard what we were going to go through with this cap cap space and this cap hell that we were going through. But now that we've released those two guys, Devontae Freeman and 
and Desmond Trufant, and now I see that we have enough money to get um, Dante Fowler Jr. Cut somebody else. Cut somebody else. Because if we get guys like this, I'm all for it. Because I just want to see the Falcons win. I want to see the Falcons make the Super Bowl or make the playoffs next year. And I just want to see the Falcons do good. So, yeah. Dante Fowler Jr., I'm so excited for the signing. And I can't wait to see him in the Falcons here for, like I said before, um, when the season begins, hopefully in September. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please just smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.